Hey everybody, I'm Steph. I'm Michael. Today we're checking out the Lord of the Rings Duel for Middle Earth. From Repos. Yes. This game plays exactly two players. Two players only. And it has a box play time of 30 minutes. Hey, do you love Seven Wonders Duel? Yeah. I really love Seven Wonders Duel. I love it like I love this because Lord of the Rings, come on. Plus, you also love Lord, uh, Seven Wonders much more than Seven Wonders Duel. So Seven Wonders. I love Seven Wonders Duel. And this takes it to the next level. I agree. So, so good. Um, And yes, like Gator Dave said in the chat, some Vincent Dutre art, I'm sold. Exactly. It's Look how amazing. beautiful. It is stunning. We love it. Yes. <laughs> So, thanks to Stefan at Rebus for providing us this copy, a uh, pre-production copy of Lord of the Rings Duel for Middle-Earth. But he didn't give it to us in exchange for this video. He gave it to us because he knows we like to play all the games. So, without further ado, let's take a look at this while I teach you all the rules. So, for those of you who are familiar with Seven Wonders Duel or Seven Wonders, you will be uh, very familiar with how this game is set up. So um, you are going to place, uh, at each player is going to get uh, fortress and unit pawns that look like this. The fellowship player has the yellow ones and the, the Sauron player <laughs> will take the gray pawns. I guess, oh, we... Uh, I guess we are called, uh, yes, I guess we're the Fellowship and you're Sauron. Makes sense. Is what it is. Um, Legit. On the central board, you're going to put two of the Fellowship uh, units on Arnor and two Sauron units on where else but Mordor. Obviously. Yes. So um, there's this really cool Quest of the Ring track where you've got the Nazgul who is uh, trying to advance on Frodo and Sam. So, um, as Frodo and Sam advance on the ring track, the Nazgul will keep up with us and only get closer. So, Steph is trying to make the Wraith Riders catch Sam and Frodo. Like so. Sam and Frodo trying to rush to Mount Doom. It's a really, really great take on the the, the tug of war that the duel has. Yeah, like instead of it being on the uh, the I, war track where it goes the other. right where it goes up or down, uh, this is just a, a race to get to here before it's basically the same number of spaces for each player. Right. So it's done really well, yes. I will say. The fellowship player gets Three coins. The Sauron player gets two coins, but the Sauron player goes first. So shuffle up all the cards. You'll notice that uh, this is for uh, round one, round two, and round three. These are really easy to sort when you're done because, look, it looks like little flags that sort them one way or the other and with the R in the middle. So it makes it really easy. Um, and you are going to deal the cards like so. This might look very familiar to those of you who play Seven Wonders Duel because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it is the same sort of setup. Chapter two will be an inversion of this with two at the bottom and six at the top. And chapter three will be this sort of square configuration. So on your turn, you are either going to take a chapter card or a landmark tile. Only three landmark tiles start face up. These landmark tiles will give you the ability to put the fortresses on the board, which is a good thing because you're trying to maintain uh, control over these regions. So if you want to um, take a chapter card, you will need to pay the cost on the card, which is always underneath uh, this line, and you will get whatever is above. These green cards are good for building alliances. Um, that represents the races of Middle Earth. This shows that you get an alliance uh, with the dwarves. If you can manage to get two of the same race, 
Me meaning I've got two dwarf cards, I get to draw two of these dwarf tokens, the top two from the stack. There are three of these dwarf tokens, and then I can choose one to keep. Everything is open information, so I can't keep this information from Steph. She's going to know what the other token is. So I'm going to choose one, and I'm going to put the other one back on top of the stack. If you can get three different races, one time per game, you can draw one token from each of those three races, choose one, and put the other two back on top. But you can only do that once per game. So, um, notice that this card has a little icon up in the top. This is called a chaining symbol. If you can find this symbol in the future, on another card, uh, usually it will be in a subsequent chapter. Actually, it's always in a subsequent always, chapter. Yeah. Um, then you can take that card for free without paying a cost. So um, let's pretend like this was the same symbol. It is not, but let's pretend like it was. If I have this, uh, if I've picked this up on an earlier turn, then I don't have to pay two strength and two knowledge. I can just have this card and I get this card for free. That's pretty cool. Now, what if I don't have this cost? Well, I can pay one gold per missing symbol. Steph, if you will shuffle those up for me. Um, the yellow cards are rather simple. You're going to get an amount of gold. Some of them do have chaining symbols on them, however. Um, if you get one of these silver gray cards, you are going to always have access to this symbol. For example, this is one strength that will help pay for that card that I showed earlier. Um, if I don't have that chaining symbol to get it for free. These red cards, if you can pay for it, well, this one is free. Notice there's no cost for it. If you uh, do this red card, uh, you will have a chaining symbol for later, which is sort of cool for this card in particular. Um, and you can place one unit either on this territory or this territory. What are those? This is uh, uh, Pink. this spot over here and this spot here. I'm not good at reading. Uh, I'm not good at reading it either. <laughs> My lore is bad. So these blue cards. This is how to advance on the quest of the ring track. For every ring symbol you see, you get to advance along that track one space. If you manage to move on top of one of these spaces, look, I just got one coin. Or you might get one unit. Or you get to take another turn directly after this. Or, hey, you get a fortress anywhere on the board. I think that's kill my fortress. Oh, that's an X on it. That's correct. Kill any fortress on the board. So rude. That is awesome. So tuck that in under there. No, we need to overlap that if you would. Yeah, that those need to. It's all good. It's sort of. You're fine. I got a little bit of OCD on me. So now, which cards are available? Only cards that are uncovered are available. So, um, only when these two cards are both taken will this one become available. We'll flip it face up when it is. So let's say that I don't have enough coins for something. What can I do? Well, maybe I don't want Steph to get this dwarf here. I can take this card and discard it and take one coin in Chapter 1, two coins in Chapter 2, three coins in Chapter 3. This, this is go to the discard pile. It is different than uh, Duel, Seven Wonders Duel. Now, it notice there are three cards left over. These three cards will never be seen, uh, technically, unless something lets you look through the discard pile. All of the cards will go into the discard pile if they are trash. There is one ability that lets you look through the discard pile, um, and it includes all of the ones you did not deal into the stack. So, let's say that you don't want to buy or sell one of these cards, you could buy a landmark card. These landmark cards allow you to get landmarks on different parts of the board. This one lets you get uh, 
fortress and three units in Rohan. That one I know. Okay. I know Rohan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How much is it going to cost me? It's going to cost me three of these ruse symbols, two leadership symbols, and one knowledge symbol, which is basically if you have no uh, if you have no uh, symbols on cards like these, it's going to cost you six gold. Now, what does this symbol mean? This symbol means however many of these landmark tiles you already have. So if I have two landmark cards already, and this is going to be my third, I'm going to need to pay two coins plus all this. If I don't have any of these symbols, I'm paying eight coins. I will take this, put it in my area, put my, uh, my, Fortress on Rohan and my three units, like so. And I will not refresh this stack. These stacks are only refreshed uh, at the beginning of a chapter. So, um, whenever you do combat, let's say that Steph has an ability that will, uh, that will move these units. For example... Let's say that she gets this and she can put two units here in, where is that? Um, I think it's where Oh, that start. is where I am. So you would put this here and your two units here. Now, what happens on, actually, I'm not sure they can see. So you've got your fortress and your two units here. Each player is going to take off one unit simultaneously. And then look, there's still... The, uh, these units here simultaneously, you're going to take off both units simultaneously. And now there are no more units in that spot. Fortresses never are involved in combat. When Steph has a fortress here in uh, Ardor, it's never going to be removed unless I get some kind of ability like this. This means she will always have presence in Ardor. If I've got a unit here and she's got a fortress here, that's fine. We can coexist like this. Or if we both somehow find a way to get a fortress in there. I'm not certain there's a way to can, do that. Because there's only seven tiles. Correct. So, um, this tile also lets Steph move to adjacent spaces. It could be that she moves one unit two spaces. She could move two units one space. But if she ends up in my space, then clearly uh, she's going to lose two. I'm going to lose two, leaving me with one guy and one fortress. But I couldn't move through you. You cannot move. No. What happens is, let's put this guy back. Let's say you're here. If you wanted to get to this area here, you move here first, then do combat. Then, if you're clear to go, move again. So, that's how all of that works. Combat, super simple. No randomness. Good to go. Okay. Give you these. Um, the end of the game happens three different ways. Uh, and if it doesn't end any of these three ways, the winner will be whoever has, whoever is present in the most regions. And if that's tied, the game will end oh. in a tie. How rude. So, uh, you have to have at least a fortress or a unit in a region. So, what are the three ways? Way number one, if Frodo and Sam reach Mount Doom, or if the Nazgul catches Frodo and Sam, the game is over, with whichever side winning, obviously. Frodo and Sam reach, we, the Fellowship wins. Yep. Nazgul catches, Sauron wins. Yep. If someone gathers six different race symbols, if you don't have these four green ones, um, they're a little bit off the board. I'll try to move these on a little bit. If you don't have control of these of the first four by chapter two, you should probably abandon that because I didn't see any in in number three. Okay. Though uh, there is an eagle token that will count as one of the six. That's fair. So it's not entirely impossible. But it's going to be super difficult. I remember I had one choice to make whether whether uh, I should take a dwarf or uh, or fortify my position on the board. I didn't take the dwarf, hoping I would find something, and I didn't. 
Okay. In chapter three. That's a second way to win if you have all six symbols. Finally, if you are present in all seven regions, it doesn't matter if uh, the other player is in some of those regions. As long as you have a unit or a fortress in each region, you immediately win because you've dominated Middle Earth. Right. Now, in the games that you have seen, right. it's generally been this that's one correct no it's, no this has won both games oh this is one i won as, as oh evil. i almost won it you almost won as this and yeah. i also almost won as that everything's always really it was, close it was super close but i ran i ran and threw the ring in yeah. and the first game i played i won with catching oh you did catch, catch those nasty yeah. hobbitses so, so. Yeah. so. all right all right so we can see the farted stuff size already yes Yep, that's it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. Hey, who goes first? It looks like it is Sauron. I'm going to do a five-minute prediction for whoever wants to predict. Can I see the rules real fast? No, yes. Yes, I just want to... Um, it's a really good um, rules reference. Okay. I'm going to take this. Oh, yeah, what does that mean? I'm going to put this over here. This can be my stack, I guess. What does that mean up there, the top one? It did... I don't know if I think either it, of us got that last time. That one is uh, take the top two tokens of any race and reveal them. I did get that. Yeah, I'm doing this. You're doing this. So you are getting one unit either in purple or greenish, yellowish, oh, green. yeah. leaf. That was my first turn. That was your first turn. You were going military again? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? You're getting. You're I just doing... wanted that symbol. Mm -hmm. I don't have any money to buy this this dwarf. You do. You have two right there. I know, You're but lying. You know what? It's really hard to get money in this game. You were just rolling in it last game, so it's, of course it's it really was easy it. for you. But it's not it. exactly. That's free. Oh. I know you hate it. You I'm, hate it when I do. I'll get a resource to. And guess what flips? Oh. I'm waiting for the flip. Two things. That's another money. The military. I don't mind the military. Yeah. It's one in the blue or one where I already am. But it's got a symbol on it. Let's get the free stuff. Fendon. You have a leak. Yep. I will buy a hammer. No. Whoa. I'll what are you put, doing? I'll put it like here. Yeah, just so they can keep track of what you've got. Yeah. What you got. Two coins, please. You don't really need to keep those. No, you don't. You're revealing that though. Oh. That's I get a printer. No, that's the freezer. Whoa. I guess no. I'm about to this too. No. That's free. You got a you got a fist. How about that fist? Ugh. I'm gonna put this here and I'm gonna advance on the track. I guess I'll take two bucks. I'm just gonna And reveal stuff for me. There's your two bucks. Kajing. And I'll do it. Don't knock stuff out. Yeah, I don't want to get in your way. <laughs> How about this? Fine, two more bucks. It's better than discarding for one buck. Sure, more ring. More ring. I'm going to get pay a dollar for this ring. Yep. I see your third unit coming up right now. Unless I do this. Four bucks. What? No. Yeah, no. I don't know what you're doing. No. Listen to the crying. This. 
is going here with two dudes and move two. How about ah uh, one two oh that's so rude dead guy. I guess I'm taking this. Yes, you are. Oh, get to pay a buck for it. I've got a buck right here. Mm-hmm. I guess I'm getting more money. Hey, what's new? Well, since I don't have that symbol, it looks like I'm taking this symbol. I'm well set on those. I should mention whoever takes the last card, uh, the turns still keep going back and forth. So if Steph takes the last card, I get the next turn on I'll the next chapter. I spend $4. $4. For that one. For which one? The bottom one. This one. Three dudes because in a tower. Because you have that and that. Three dudes in a tower in Rohan. That's me. And I don't know here. where to put this, but. um, Just so that they know you have one. Wow. I don't have that symbol. I don't have any money. Well, you could discard it for money. Gonna have to. You get your card. Uh, I don't know what to do. Don't want you to move on that track. Well, guess what? But I want this, so... Yes, you do. Do you want to activate the ability? Yeah, sure. So that is the top one of this... And this and this. Is that the feather? Is that the? I'm looking. That is the eagle symbol that counts as one of the races. What? Once per turn, benefit from every any skill, and when you play a green card, also do two movements on the central board. They're all very good. They're all super good. I'd be silly not to do this, though. Uh, considering you've got four of your <laughs> six, and I likely will not be able to stop her. Sadly. Hey, look. You get that, though. That's what's happening. It's, it's a big run to the to the mountain. You got a dollar for your troubles. Yeah, I'm not sure that that's <laughs> going to help me much. All right, two at the bottom, six at the top. couple landmarks coming out. Yeah, a couple landmarks. So six, um, six face up at the top. Then five, then four, then three, then two. You're doing a much better job than last time. Thanks, because I was holding the cards this time. Three. And two up, and that's it. Ooh. I go first? Um, um, I think I do go first. Boo. I think I'm going to have to take one of these... Fine, fine specimens of a thing if I can. Oh. No. I can't. You can't. Got one money. That's too bad. I got a harp. I could take this. And get another token. What? You said you can't do it. I have this. I want this because it's a uh, different symbol. Oh, it is a symbol. I can't get it. Don't have it. Don't have a cow man. Nope. All right, well, I'm going to take this. That gives you access to these two tokens, one of which you've seen before, and that's this, which is fantastic. Also, when, when get... you do take a red card, you also can place um, all of the concerned units in any one of the seven regions. You're not limited to two regions. You can go <laughs> anywhere on the board. What? I want that, but I'm going to be dumb and take this. Why would you be? Why does that mean you're dumb? Because I have reasons, but mm. now what do you want? Uh, I don't want this, but I'm, I'm taking it. <laughs> I get access to 
When I play a yellow card, also run to the ring. Oh, that's so good. And when I play a red card, put an additional unit. Well, I I have one method of winning right now, and that's <laughs> running headfirst to the ring. Hopefully I don't die in the process. No green, no green, no green. No green. You got the fish. You get take the fish. I don't know. I know there's no fish. There's no. Well, why are you? Okay. Yeah, you got a fish. It doesn't help you any. I'm gonna pay a dollar for what? For this. You get two advances on the track. What do I get for it? Anyway? Nothing. Pay. Pay. Lord of the Rings. Got to do it. Yeah. I figured. I have no choice. Um, I guess I'm doing that. No. That gives you a buck. Yay. Rich. Flip it over. You get this for free. Yeah, I do. Two coins. Don't want to give you that. No. I know you don't. Just as just as well as you could do. Looks. All right, that's what I'm doing. Is this the symbol I have? Yep. It is the symbol I have. Yep. But that is that's your token right there. Yeah, but it's yeah. not an extra symbol that I need. Yeah, but don't take it. I took it. Had to. All right. I'm paying a dollar for this. Okay. You get two dudes. Dudes. In the Gondor or Gondor. Order. Let's go Gondor. Ooh. Let's excuse me. It. Ooh, resources. Resources are good. Mm -hmm. They are helpful. Oh, I know. Worse at all. Boom. It's almost as good as that. I'm paying it all over this. Still need money. Mm -hmm. I still need money. Yep. Yeah, you do. Still need money. I also need money. A little bit of problem here. A little bit of problem. Because you are starting to... I didn't do nothing. We have exactly the same amount. No, you got... You got... Have... Three more guys on the board. Oh, okay. 
literally three more guys. Take other resources. Yep. I took it. Took it. Full of a took. I'm going to kill that. No. Ho, ho. For two coins. But I want it. I know. Happens. Taking the other one. Yep. All right. Two tokens. Either here or here. Okay. I'm going to try the defense strategy. Might not work. Well, I will spend two bucks for that bottom tower. That's two advancements. You put a guy in there too? Nope. Here in Gondor? All right. You did it. Ooh, what do you got for that? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing, honey. Job well done. No green. Green. I can do it. You doing it? Yeah, I got to. All right, here are your choices. Three every time, you, gold every time you use a chaining symbol. Or when you play a blue card, place a unit in any region. Shaking your head. I guess I'll do blue. <laughs> That's interesting. All right, so my problem is this round I didn't get a whole lot of cards with chaining bonuses for later, so I don't know exactly mm -hmm. if that would pay off for the money, even though I need the money. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Oh, I knew that that was happening. Had to. Yeah, I knew that was happening. I get a unit anywhere on the board. Might as well put it. Right on have it. I will take this. What is that? That is that. Yeah. Three coins and oh, what else? I also get a push. I'll kill it for two. Killing it for two. Coming up to the end. All right. One of these comes out. These are hopefully shuffled. Yeah, I did shuffle them. All right. They go out like uh, two at the top, up, three down. No, you need to come out. Come out. Need to, sorry. That way, please. Three down, four up. Two down, four up, three down, two up. I'll move them. All right. Three down? Mm hmm. This is a tall one. Two up. Okay. Yeah, not a lot of room here. There'll be room in a second once we start taking things. So do your worst.
can't let you have green. You have four green. Uh. However, this, if I spend one for this, I have two fist symbols. I need the third. I have two of these. I need a third. I have one of these. No, I have, I have one of these. I need a second, I should have said. So anyway, it cost me three dollars. I get a tower where you're not going to get a tower in Linden. I get to look at the top two tokens of any race and reveal them. That's nice. Mm hmm. Mm. I think I am going to have to take these. Where are they? I don't know. I've never seen them before. Let's take a look. Two rings. Well, <laughs> two rings is already nice. Uh, I think the card configuration is different for age three, but um, the other two are the same. No, I think that that's the card arrangement for dual. Fairly sure. Mm. I remember the square, broken square like that. Okay. Anyway, let me focus on this. Um, take all the cards in the discard. Secretly choose one and play it for free. Not bad. Or two rings. That's tough because you get an extra turn if you take two rings. Yep. Got to do it. Two rings. And that's that's the extra turn. Because <laughs> I do have the flame. And that's two more spots. I get a tower on the board. You get to kill my tower. Oh, I get to kill a tower on the. That's not going to matter. Okay. But I am two spots away from Mount Doom. I think we so will. I assume that makes the cost less for those. If you kill my tower. No, that's how many cards you have. Oh. I'm going to take a look, but I'm going to double check. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Oh, it is Fortress Pawns on the board. Okay. You are correct. All right. Cool. Are you, you done? You are correct. Yes. No green. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's a win. It's a win. No, it's not a win. It's not an auto win. It's not. You can't pay for it. I can't it. pay for it. So I have to take this. <laughs> it cost me one coin. I don't really have a choice. You get a dude on the map. All right, I'll kill the guy over here. Swap. Because you ha don't have that. No. Oh, I... yeah. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. As the dude on the map was because of this. Yes. No, no. Yes. I also get a dude on the map for that. Yes. Get a dude on the map. I'll kill that purple region guy. All right. Now can I take my turn? Yeah, I suppose. You suppose. I am one short for that. I am going to hope you reveal something nice here. No. I'm going to kill this for three coins. That. One, two, three. No. Actually, wait a second. Let me put that back for a second. No, I have to do that. One, two, three. 
Did I it. need a dollar to do one of those cards over there. I don't want to reveal this. What? What is this? What? How many do you have? I I just need to pay a dollar for this. So I guess for I'm, which for this card for that I'm oh, doing oh, it. Which one? But yeah. I don't want to. Three. You can put three in Mordor or kill my three guys in Linden. Yeah. Your choice. So Linden, it is. Kill them all. Kill them all. Sure. No blue. No blue. Let's see. That, that, that. For this, I have two towers on the board. That is one and one and a coin and one and one and one. So two towers, one symbol. Yep. Three coins in, five coins out. So a tower in green. A tower in green. And I get to move one dude. Yep. How about that? And you get five bucks. I did the five bucks. Three bucks in, five bucks out. Okay, cool, 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 Free and nearly an instant win for you. Actually, one, I two, mean, three, four, five would have been a win for you. No, I have one, two, four. three, four. You have four. That would have been five. Yeah. Well, I have three things. Yeah. So that is this, this, and this for the three no. race set. Plus <laughs> one red. Move two dudes. Take a discard. Take a discard. Take a discard. Yeah. Take a discard. <laughs> and she grabs them and looks. I have to hold put two over here. Nope. <laughs> hey, what do those say? Oh my goodness. <laughs> and play it for free. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, overshot. No. Oh, I overshot the mountain. I got to back up one. <laughs> I'm a bad bean guy. <laughs> I had another one as well. Ah. Uh, I mean. <laughs> I wasn't even close to catching you. Uh, it was the. To, needed to earlier try today was far closer. I needed to try and do military. I. Uh, you were doing some. I tried, but. I yeah, I didn't see. let you. Uh, I really so my strategy for this was this is why I took the the Linden one because with this there's one of these for every region with this region gone look how remote it is you have to go through Ardor to get to it well there's or there's things. yes there's you things. have to have you have to have like this ability this ability would have let you put one in Ardor yeah. Uh, I have hobbit feet. Actually, I have rather smooth feet. I'm a little ashamed to admit that. I'd rather have the hobbit feet. Oh my God. <laughs> you and your rings. Oh, that's all? It's me and my rings. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but that's the third time the game has ended with this for me. Out of three games. You See, I, here's the thing. These cards seem exceptionally weak until they're not. Until they're not. Yeah. Right. And so you have to manage it. Like I have you have to, to manage it. it. But like every good Seven Wonders game, you can't let one player run away with all of a symbol. You can't let someone run away with all the science. It's you can't true. let someone run away with I had I had eight ring cards. I know. Money is so tight though. Like if you have the perfect card, but you can't buy it or you can't whatever get it. I can't hear you from behind I know. all of these. I know. Points. You're really good at getting money in this game. I don't even know how you do it. Because I'm like sitting here poor. 
Maybe it's because I'm too, I spend it too quickly on things. And maybe I need to refrain from buying what I want so fast. Oh, but I really, really enjoy the the track. All right. It's a different way of approaching a a tug of war. Much better than the tug of war. But it's it's really the same thing, though, because it or you might even count it as a race. Yeah. Like with the equal numbers of steps, because it is it is dual tracks. Yeah. The engine, the tracks. Yeah, because you have as many spots here as I have on the main board. Yeah, for sure. Right. For sure. So, yeah. But I also enjoy the little map with the guys because you have to kind of manage that because otherwise someone could easily just take over the map if you're not paying attention. Right. Uh, Like all of a sudden, five and six and seven regions becomes really quick. I got a lot of green, and I'm like, maybe I can I, get the four, the five, six greens. You I need. almost okay. got got six greens. Me, if they fit, if the flop had come out a little differently at the end, it's possible like it could have worked in my favor. Well, I mean, there were two greens right there in front of us at the start of the round. I'm like, no, no, there they, it was just the one pearl. I mean, there's no. One I'm talking here. about the start of two. Oh yeah, at the start of two. There were two greens staring me in the face, and I'm like. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. But I think it's really important to get the shields because you don't want your pro- opponent to have all the cool bonuses. What you mean? And yeah, no, just the, the shield. Oh, tokens. yes, the special, the special because race bonuses. You want to get little bonuses too, otherwise. Oh, for so, sure. But you have to manage everything, and that's why I really like it. I like this more than dual. It feels different, but it also feels similar. Like it for me, the theme is there. I love it pop over to our top 10 i can't remember what what you gave this i want to take a look uh, back in april I played this in april you, yeah, so back no wrong look way. i don't i don't know if i was able to talk about yeah, it yes it was your number two game of april and april's always our heavy month yeah because we have yeah, a 10 sure. game convention yeah in april so yeah um that and it says prototype not seven wonders duel is what you have on the <laughs> spreadsheet I think this is that game. This is that game. So uh, it's amazing. It's really great. And I know everybody's going to love it who gets the chance to play it. Well, because... uh, you know, speaking of top tens, it's a really high chance. This is probably going to make my top ten. I wouldn't be surprised in if it August. does it. I think it's really well done. So definitely check it out if you're a two-player playing. If you, if you play a lot of two-player games, it's one not to miss. Because look at that thing. It's so pretty. That's right. Amazing. Uh, Jeremiah says the hobbits, 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 the <laughs> So yeah, be sure to check out Lord of the Rings Duel for Middle Earth from Repos. She is a big time Lord of the Rings fan. Be sure to check it out. And if you enjoyed this teaching playthrough and you want more just like it, Come on over to YouTube and search for Board Gamer Steph. All one word, right? Yep. And even better, if you want to join all these people in Twitch, come join us on twitch.tv slash Steph every Wednesday and Sunday night at 5 p.m. Central where we stream three games or more every single stream. Come join us on Twitch where we play all the games. And for those on Twitch, we'll be right back. We love them.